All right, you ready? We're starting. Remember your lines? Okay. Max always wants to be involved, especially since I started recording out here in the front room. Uh, but this is the ATD2 from Attitude Supply, probably one of my new all around favorite bags, whether it be for EDC, travel, or just going about. It has quickly become something I have fallen in love with, and I'm very excited to show you all about it. Let's get into it. Okay, so like I said at the start, this is the ATD2. Now, this is a smaller version pretty much of their ATD1. Now, if you're interested in learning more about that one specifically, I would recommend checking out Boa's Mono's review. I will link that in my show notes down below. Now, this bag is a little pricey. It comes in at 420 US dollars. Now, Attitude Supply did not send this to me. It caught my eye. I talked to Bo about it. He highly recommended the ATD1. I looked into it a little bit more and decided that I would try out the ATD2 because I'm at the point now in my personal life outside of doing reviews for my channel, I'm looking for a good all around bag. And this one stood out to me. And after about three weeks of testing this, I'm very excited. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna point out is this bag does not stand up on its own. I'm actually holding it. This is the like only thing that kind of upset me about this bag is that wherever I went, whether I was using it for EDC, travel, whatever the occasion was, it always had to have something to lean up against. So something definitely to keep in mind, but outside of that, I have very few, if any other, gripes when it comes to this bag. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the materials. So first off, it has 10 millimeter YKK zippers, as well as Fidlock buckles and aluminum hooks. The fabric on this is a Challenge Sailcloth Ecopath EPLX 600-600D waterproof laminated made out of 100% post-consumer recycled polyester. I'm just reading this off their website. So that's, you get the whole definition when I do this. This is some really solid material that is very environmentally friendly. Now, up until recently, and I just made a video about this, I worked for an environmental company for seven years. So when it came to looking for something for personal use, environmental stuff is something I look for across all the products and reviews that I do. And this one really stood out to me because the materials on this bag are super, super, super solid. And the interior material on this bag, interior, interior material, the interior material on this bag, that was a tongue twister, is also super phenomenal. Another big benefit of the material on this bag is it is very weather resistant and it is very dirt resistant. The only thing that I have noticed is little Momo here, who sheds like it's going out of style. His hair does seem to stick to this bag a little bit, but it does easily brush off. So like no lint roller, anything like that required. And then also you have, like I said, this Fidlock buckle, which is great for the roll top, and then aluminum hooks for the cinch on the sides, as well as some other hooks that are kind of spread out throughout this bag. Let's talk about the back. Now, for a bag that looks like this, I expected the air channel to not be so great. Now it's getting a little bit warmer, and this bag was my go-to when I went to the lake. We just took our little pup up there and just had some fun, got some footage for this thing, and just enjoyed a nice Saturday at the lake, did some kayaking and things like that. And honestly, wearing this bag around the, like the banks of the beach and things like that out when it's hot, had this weighed down with some of our picnic stuff and blankets, toys and stuff for the little boy. And honestly, I didn't notice any kind of sweat, any kind of heat, any kind of discomfort. Right now I have this packed out for how I used it for travel because I'm very excited to show you that element. So this right now is probably the heaviest I would ever have this bag. And it is pretty darn heavy in my opinion. But these straps and this air channel here are beefy and durable and I absolutely love that. The only gripe that I have about this bag and it's mainly because everything else on this is made from very like solid materials and it looks good and it functions really well. The only thing I don't like is the sternum strap. The sternum strap is made from just a regular old plastic buckle. And I feel like with the fid lock up here and just the way the rest of this bag is like laid out and made, I wish that this, this was just a little something different or even like a little bit more beefy. Just this is the only part of the bag that honestly feels cheap. Now, here's me wearing the bag. I'm currently 5'8", around 170 pounds. And without this bag packed out is 18 liters. Now it can expand all the way with the roll top up to 33, 35 liters, depending on how much you wanna stretch it. And that's what it looks like on me. Again, very comfortable. And I feel like it does a very good job of fitting any frame due to the small and compact size of this bag. Now we're gonna talk about something else that I like on this bag, which is the handles. You have a nice handle up here, which is great because with the roll top up here, you want a spot to be able to grab it and easily lift it up. You also have 
handles on either side of the bag, which is great for that side access. And then on the bottom here, you even have a another handle. And I, sorry, Max, I, I almost hit you. You got real close to this bag, buddy. I love a bag that puts handles on all, all four sides and still lets you have a water bottle pocket. No matter where you're going with this bag or what you're doing, you're gonna have a place to grab it. It's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna be easy to find. Okay, so speaking of water bottle pockets, you actually get two, and I wanna do this first just because it's kind of keeping the bag a little lopsided. You get two stretch pockets on either side that are great for water bottles. This is just a standard, you know, like 24 ounce water bottle. You're not gonna be able to get any big boys in here, which is totally understandable, but I feel like this does a really good job of not only being a water bottle pocket, but because of these cinch straps, you can actually take even a tripod with you if you wanted to, because you can keep one side loose if you'd like to, which is actually what I ended up doing. On one side here, I kept it loose, so if I wanted to have a water bottle pocket or my tripod, and then on the other side, I actually kept it pretty cinched down with some room to loosen it if I wanted to. Now, these are aluminum hooks, so you can't actually unhook them all the way if you want to, but in terms of like lash straps on the side of a bag, usually I feel like they get in the way more than anything, but what I love about this bag is it comes with little like strap organizer things that keep the straps nice and tight and without floofing and fluffing everywhere you are. So I, f I really like that. And I feel like that because of that, these last straps on the side work really well. And the last thing I want to mention because I forgot about it is this bag actually does come with hip straps. I removed mine because they just weren't very comfortable and not something that I typically use. And I just found them to kind of get in the way more than anything. But if that's something that you like and something you want and something you look for, this bag does come with them. I just took them off and put them somewhere in my gigantic bag of nothingness. Okay, so let's talk about the pockets on this bag. Now, this doesn't really have a lot. It's very slim and it's a very slick design. There's not a lot of organization on the outside. You get this nice front compartment here, which I'm a big fan of, and then that's it. There's a little bit, I mean, a very little bit on the inside, and then the rest is just pretty much open chasm. So this is a great bag if you're somebody that likes pockets and likes to kind of customize your own organization which is what I did. Okay, so for this front compartment here, it is a side access. And like I said, there's a little bit of organization in here. There's two larger mesh compartments. And then the one thing that definitely does baffle me about this is not one, not two, but four pin spots with even another spot here for pins. Feels like a little bit too much, but regardless, I never really use pin organization. Now in here, you also have a spot, though be it very small and short, to attach keys if you want to. But in here, what I've been doing is just kind of throwing my keys and letting them go to the bottom because they just kind of fit there pretty nicely. And then in one mesh guy is where I'll put my wallet and as well as, as, well as my AirPods for the day. And then in this compartment is where I put my Game Boy because this is what I've been using for travel and just something to have fun with. It's just been a real swell time. And that is this front compartment, right? So a little bit of organization, but overall a lay flat compartment. This would be something if you wanted to, you could put your tablet in here instead of using the tablet sleeve that's in the bag. But this is really good for like smaller pouches, flat pouches, or if you wanna utilize this flat organization like I did. And I purposely kind of kept the rest of this open. So if I wanted to throw anything in there while I was out and about, I always had a spot to do so. Okay, so up top here is the Fidlock. You undo that and then you get this roll top access now you also can access the main compartment with these zippers here on the back which is also a great way to access your laptop compartment so this is the main chasm when you open it up and then here is a spot for a laptop okay so up here at the top of the roll top that's kind of just resting that i had my easy quick access to was my pxc over the ear headphones and then my snack which is just like a little protein cinnamon roll. So I had this resting. So if I undid that fit lock and opened up my roll top, those were the first two items. They weren't getting crushed. They weren't getting smushed. They fit up there really, really nice. And it was perfect in order to having kind of have quicker access to items. Below that is my tech case. And then next to my tech case is my minimal gravel travel dop kit. Okay, and then the last thing that I had in here, this is the packing cube. Now, this is actually the packing cube from Attitude Supply, and I picked it specifically for the reason that it fits perfectly in the ATD2. This currently has two pairs of pants, a pair of sleep shorts, a pair of regular shorts, four t-shirts, socks, underwear, and a couple other little clothing items, and it's everything I would need for a trip. 
everything. And I still would have room at the top of that roll top if I wanted to bring something like a packable pair of shoes or something a little bit more if I wanted to. And this bag is still carry on approved for airlines here in the US, at least United and Delta that I flew with it. And that is why I really like this packing cube because this packing cube is super solid and this X-Pack material is fantastic. Okay, then the last thing you have is the laptop and tablet sleeve. So this is just my regular iPad, nothing fancy, with a travel case so I can prop it up. And then in here, I actually have a 14 inch MacBook Pro and it just barely squeezes by. So that's the other big difference between the ATD1 and the ATD2 is that the two is gonna have a smaller laptop compartment. So this, like I said, 14 inch. However, if you had a nice like laptop sleeve, you could definitely fit that in here. And the way that this bag is built with the bottom being so padded, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would not let the laptop compartment be a deal breaker strictly because this bag offers a lot more. And I feel like the small size, if that's something that you like, there are alternatives to that, which I have used before and something that I was prepared to use on this one because I didn't think that this was gonna fit. And both of these are really solid off the bottom of the bag, plenty, plenty of protection. And then right here is a zipper. So if you wanted to, this is actually how you get into the like actual bones of the bag. Now, Attitude Supply also does sell some attachments here that you could latch on and strap on if you wanted to, to organize this out a little bit more. So look, at the end of the day, I think this bag is really, really well made. I think it's very durable. I love the minimalist of it. It's another reason why I'm a big fan of like the Manal bags. To me, they just have like this minimal look, minimal organization, but they pack a big punch and they get the job done. And the fact that this goes from 18 liters, which is a great everyday carry size, all the way out to 33 liters, which is a perfect minimal one bag travel size, not to mention the fact that they have packing cubes that can perfectly fit in this. So as long as you pack out that packing cube, that's all the clothing you can bring. That right there already sets what you can really do with this and bring a couple other minimal pouches. I think it just works really well. I'm a big fan. I really, really, really love this bag and I 100% think it's worth checking out. So with all of that being said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the ATD2 from Attitude Supply, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer those for you. Or you can shoot me an email, odmatthewsbags at gmail.com where I'm happy to answer any other questions, show additional footage, video, or whatever it might be. And thank you guys so very much yet again for supporting this channel. It means the absolute world to me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all of that wonderful nonsense. And I will see you next time.